Hello, so I want to share with you very deep spiritual message that very few people can understand. But even though a lot of people nowadays are interested in so-called spirituality or self-help, or we don't really understand what happiness is. And sometimes we think that this is in the future when we achieve certain things, etc. But this is fulfillment. This is not happiness. And this deep truth that I wanted to share with you is that in 99.5% you cannot suffer in the present moment. And if you're meditating since a lot of time, you may realize this, that when you're sitting through a meditation, in a lot of cases we struggle with intrusive thoughts, with emotions, that with compulsions, we need to scratch ourselves, we need to move. But this is the truth that is always going to put you in a proper moment, that what I'm trying to quit, what I'm trying to get, and why? Because you want to feel happy, you want to feel full. And why I said that in 99.5% we are we we can, we find happiness in a present moment and uh, you know because there are a lot some there are of course some exceptions like people suffering in Palestine or Ukraine or people who suffer from disabilities they are maybe crippled you know uh, they might suffer for example from also cancer but in most cases we have two hands we have two legs we can breathe we can see we can hear if we are fully healthy, we can be happy here and now. And I know that when I'm saying this, our skeptical mind turns off and logic and finds reasons to, you know, to disprove this, that I have terrible job, I'm lazy, I have this quality, this feature, I don't love myself. But are they just excuses? If you really see it and be in the present moment, you will notice that you're not your thoughts, you're not your emotions, you're not even your identity, because you're something more than this. And when you realize that you're something more than this, you feel this flexibility that who you are is ultimately who you will create yourself to be. It's not necessarily just your past experiences or your environment or, your, or even your body, you know, so... I don't even know what to say now because I feel this clarity in my mind and I don't know exactly how to express it but but if you really really feel anx anxious, depressed, unhappy I know that sometimes we need to do a lot of inner work you know to to heal it cognitive therapy cognitive be cognitive behavioral therapy or hypnotherapy or other methods but this is the most liberating truth that all spiritual teacher will tell you that world here and now is completely okay even though still your rational mind will tell you that a lot of you know tragedies happen in the world a lot of wars etc but how can you help the world by being happy by being joyful by being full of strength or you will help the world by being constantly anxious sad or you know, caring, too empathetic about others, too empathetic because empathy and compassion are two different things. Because when you're empathetic, empathy, when you feel empathy, you also absorb negative emotions of others and of the world. And when you're compassionate, you are at peace and at ease and you don't absorb emotions of others, even though you feel them. Because you know that by solely absorbing emotions of others, it will not help no one. But that was just my insight. And now I struggle a little bit to, to express myself more. Because I, I think that this is obvious. But I know that it's not obvious for, for anyone. And, and this is just paradox. Because everyone from our childhood tell us to we need to become this, we need to achieve that, you know, in order to be happy. <laughs> but we can simply be happy right now, as I said, in 99.5% of cases. Even if we close our eyes, we constantly see images, we see sounds of our relatives, of our inter inner, inner critic. What's behind this? Am I something more? 
how you were feeling if you were a child when you were a child and you were playing carelessly carefree you might have problems in your life for example bad job no money different kinds of problems but are you really suffering from this here and now what if you could give yourself a break for 30 minutes from this and pretend that you don't have this problem pretend for 10 for 15 for 30 minutes this is mind-blowing because you realize that even if you have these problems you will cope with them better if you will give yourself time to be carefree to, to just be not to think because thinking is defense mechanism and we don't have to think all the time we can just simply be because we be so that we think and not we think so uh, so we be so uh, therefore we are no it's not working like this there is being before thinking and when you will experience this being before thinking more <laughs> you will be more happy because in 99 percent our thoughts are just shitty repetitive garbage from the past and when you will create space between you and thoughts you create space where you can create your new thoughts insights and perspective uh, perspectives and you can simply just let yourself be i think that's all for today so i hope you like this insight but it's also like this with the insights it's not enough to realize something but you need to embody it and the best way to embody it is to always remind yourself this before meditation or before your day that happiness is not somewhere else it's already within you but what you need to do is to take these claps from your eyes and and realize that sometimes we think too much and that this is not necessary and by thinking too much overthinking everything over caring about ourselves and others we are not really helping them and we are not helping ourselves because we need to realize that some problems are problems created by our mind and some problems are problems that we need to cope with and some things are things that we don't have control about but all we have control about is our perception ourselves what we do and how we react have a beautiful day